Uh, Coach Cosgrove, uh, please talk about uh, first day of spring practice with pads on. First day. Pads on. You know, I, um, I've i continued to be pleased with how the guys uh, have practiced. You know, they have, uh, you know, it starts with an approach, and they've been very enthusiastic about getting out on the field. And it's nice to see the the tempo today. The, we had a couple of real good team thud periods, uh, you know, and the, the opportunity to, to do a little bit more than you had with just the helmets on to get in there and, and have a, you know, what we call a stand-up scrimmage or a, a thud mm -hmm. period. And thought that uh, I saw a lot of good things out there. I thought we played fast uh, to the ball. I uh, thought we executed fairly well for uh, where we're at right now in, in terms of uh, uh, just being our third practice. So it was, it was good to see. Good stuff. Sure. Um, what did you see from the defense today that uh, impressed you? Well, I think, you know, every good unit is, you know, the whole is the sum of its parts, mm -hmm. so to speak. And I thought as a whole, uh, they played well. They played with enthusiasm. They ran to the football. Uh, you know, there are some obvious areas that are strengths. You know, I think our linebacker crew is, is going to be very good. Uh, I like what I see in our secondary is, is in terms of the guys. Um, in that unit, and uh, you know whether it's the safeties or the corners, uh, you know all doing their jobs. Um, I think the the thing that's exciting is to see the development of the young guys up front. You know anybody mm -hmm. that professes to play great defense, it all starts up front with you know, the work of your defensive line unit. So I think we're making some some strides, some advances there that you know they're encouraging. Yeah, uh, going on the other side of the ball, obviously uh, you lose Ty Eastman. But we have an offensive line that uh, a lot of guys played last season. Um, what do you see from them as far as uh, improving from from fall? Well, the, the natural thing we want to see is that you know that level of improvement that you just spoke to. You know, the guys have got to dance; they've got to get better. Um, you know, I think we're seeing that in some of those guys uh, uh, right away. Others not as quickly as we'd like to, but that's mm -hmm. what spring practice is for. Uh, that's an opportunity for us to coach them, to grow them, and you know, obviously, we have to do do that. Uh, I like the numbers that we have out there, you know, in regards to we've got people competing. And we're going to put them in more and more competitive situations, Andrew, to get the best out of them. Yeah, um, if you would uh, just talk about uh, a little bit about the, the running backs, uh, Pushan, Rosie, um, those guys. Uh, how? how now, we're um, we're feeling as if the running back position can be a really solid strength of our football team. Um, you know, right now, you know, Sesh is not involved in a full capacity. Um, he's not allowed contact, but he's out there doing a lot of things. Um, Pushon finished the year very strong last mm -hmm. year. We're hoping to see that continue. Rosie was a contributor. Um, we have a redshirt freshman, Terrell Walker, who's opened some eyes up this spring. Uh, done a nice job. So, you know, we get Sesh back, uh, Jared Turcott, uh, you know, we keep kind of leaving that conversation mm -hmm. to the side because of his, the challenges that he has right now with, uh, with the, the injury. But, you know, that could be a very, very strong part of our football team. Would you say a running back spot right now is pr pretty wide open? Well, I mean, I don't know if you, what kind of cap or term you put on that because okay. we've got injuries and we've got, you know, we don't have our full core of guys. I think it's it's always wide open, but when those guys aren't practicing, it, it truly isn't because they can't do the things they need to. So um, the, the good part is that we're encouraged by the ability of the guys we have at the spot, and we'll sort that out as we move along. Sure. Uh, going to next week, uh, anything uh, you're going to look at specifically as far as uh, maybe improvement or uh – Play, uh, as far as no, knowing plays or anything like that that you're really looking forward to for next week? Well, I think, you know, after the excitement, the newness of spring dies off, becomes the reality of it becoming, you know, uh, our jobs, so to speak. Um, you know, there's, there's always a level of enthusiasm the first three days. Now we get into a regular routine, and uh, our guys are being asked to get up early, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. We're going to practice before classes begin, and uh, we'll see a little bit more from them in regards to uh, 
uh, adaptations to the grind, the, the, the schedule, and see if they can grow. We think it's part of the development. We think it's important for their mental and, and physical growth, uh, toughness, those things. Um, so it's going to be uh, it's be nice opportunity for us as a staff to evaluate to see, you know, to what extent our guys are growing in that regard. Yeah. Um, looking ahead to the, uh, the first scrimmage of the year next Saturday, uh, anything you'll do for preparation t differently? Maybe the last uh, couple of days of next week or anything like that? No, no. I mean, I think we're just going to go about our business. We want to get in two really good practices. Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, Friday as well. Uh, we, we each and every day is an important step to our future um, as a team. We've got to make advances. You know, the scrimmage is an opportunity to play the game and kind of separate itself from being just a practice. So, uh, you know, we'll put a uh, an identity feature on that. But uh, in the in, as we move up to it, we're not going to we're not going to take time off. We're not going to leave any stones unturned. As they relate to our getting better. Okay, great. Thank you, Coach. All right.